really glad that we don't have to continue to act out the Old Testament rituals. It was bloody. Not just on the altar, but numerous times Moses and Aaron are told to take the blood of the bulls and to throw it on the people. The blood covered the children of Israel, getting into their hair and on their clothes with no shower or washing machine in sight. In Exodus 24, this very thing happens at the end of hearing the covenant that God had made with his people on Mount Sinai. As Moses threw the blood onto the people, he said, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you. And then an amazing thing happens. Moses and Aaron and 72 others go up on top of Mount Sinai and they see God, yet they don't die. They get to look on the one who had saved them from slavery and death in Egypt in all of his glory and to have a meal with him. Now, our New Testament rituals are a lot less bloody, but not. The blood is not of bulls and goats, but of the lamb, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus sheds his own blood to seal you into his new covenant. And just as he did with Moses and Aaron and those 72 others on Mount Sinai, in the new covenant, Jesus brings us up the mountain to see him in his glory, hanging on the tree of the cross, saving you from sin that results in death. He gives you his own body and blood to eat and to drink as you have a meal with him, with God himself. And there under the bread is Jesus' body for you to look upon. There hidden under the wine is Jesus' blood to cover you. As Jesus speaks, this is my blood of the new covenant that I, the Lord, have made with you. And this blood covers you. It washes you in a new birth to make you clean. And as you gaze on the Lord Jesus in his glory, as you eat of his meal with him, the hand of God's wrath is removed from you, and you live, not just for a short time on this terrestrial ball, but for eternity with him, when you will gaze on Jesus in all his glory.